Hey guys, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review Video, topic 5.8, the impacts of overfishing. So overfishing is what it sounds like. It's the process of taking too much fish. Now, the reason for this is because um, fishing provides for protein for more than 3 billion. That's almost half of the world's population. So, you know, without fishing, many people are going to be undernourished or maybe even starve if they don't have the proper protein that they were normally used to. Um, and so the problem with overfishing is it's much like uh, harvesting trees. The idea is that if there's not enough management of it, then there's going to be a collapse of these places. So um, it's unclear some of the laws are or the, there's total lack of laws. So you gotta remember we're talking about the ocean. So while we do have maritime laws and things like that, certain laws that one country have has does not carry over into the middle of the ocean. So this is a classic case of tragedy of the commons. The idea is that we take too much too fast without letting it replenish. Um, and of course, you know, because the ocean is the biggest commons out there, you know, there's several countries, several um, different, um, several different entities trying to take at the same time. And because of that, there's just too much stress and pressure and we've seen fisheries collapse um, uh, in the past. And so that's something that, may be an issue or may be talked about in a free response or multiple choice question. So um, one of the concepts that leads to this overfishing or overtaking of one resource is going to be this idea of maximum sustainable yield, right? So the idea is that you can take so much from a source, but you have to let it um, replenish in order for it to do so. So, you know, this is a calculation that you would do. You'd look at what you have taken in the past and try to get surveys of what's out there and say, okay, at some point we can take this much. And after we take this much, then we're going to stop, let it replenish and then take more than next year, or the following year and so on. And hopefully if we, you know, if we do a good job, then each year it'll refill and we'll end up with much more to take. Unfortunately, that hasn't worked very well. So you got to remember, I mentioned there's several different entities, right? You've got commercial fisheries. That's going to be companies looking to gather fish to sell to restaurants and businesses and grocery stores. You've got recreational fishing, which is, you know, people going out and saying, I'd like to go and catch. And sometimes it's catch and release, but a lot of the times it's catch and, you know, take for their own meal. And then you've got what's called subsistence. That's the key word here. Subsistence means fishing to survive. So those are the ones who, you know, and the thing is, you have to understand the problem kind of trickles down here. So commercial fisheries will take the most, but it's subsistence that will end up having the uh, biggest impacts when it comes to this. So, you know, when we calculate these maximum sustainable yields, that's for commercial fisheries. You know, subsistence fishermen don't do that. And unfortunately, they end up suffering from the lack of calculation or the improper calculations of commercial and recreational. And so you get consequences, right? So these consequences can be that fish are now becoming more extinct or more endangered and more uh, scarce, right? So the uh, good example, classic example of this is going to be tuna, right? Tuna, the bluefin tuna is this very large animal, probably about five, six feet in length, weighing hundreds of pounds, maybe thousands. And uh, unfortunately, the bluefin tuna had been hunted to or fished to uh, extremes, and it's now an endangered species. And so uh, humans have moved on from the bluefin to its smaller cousin, the yellowfin tuna, and that has led to more scarcity there. So biodiversity is dropping. And then again, those who are doing subsistence fishing, they may not go after those large fish, but the fish that are relying on them, think about trophic cascades and keystone species, that's going to be who gets affected the most. So even though you may not be fishing for the same things as a subsistence fisherman, you may still impact them down the line. And so here's a bunch of other resources you can use, and hopefully that'll kind of uh, help you fill this out. Um, and hopefully this was helpful. So thank you very much.